Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with Jorg Witthaus, and he's with Conti AG. And you're going to show us something new that Conti has that's actually a concept still, right? It is, it, it is indeed, but we are also running on embedded platforms with our system. So this is an audio management. Right, so this would actually be in the car. Yeah, so we, it, we, is. it would just sort of look like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, what would happen with this concept in the, in the car? What would be happening? Because I've got a lot of stuff going on. I've got kids in the back that have apps. I've got cars. Uh, the car has all kinds of cluster stuff going on. Lots of sounds. What does this do for me? So we want to add more functions to existing sounds in the car. So the sounds are very one-dimensional, so very um, less informational. And we now have a, a functionality, for example, we can create spatial sounds. So this sound now is moving all around the car. You can play it from everywhere you want, from, from the left, from, uh, from the back, from and the And why right. would I want to do that? So this could be, for example, when you are distracted talking to a child on the, on the passenger seat or wherever, and there's an uh, impending uh, obstacle, for example, you can be warned in, uh, from that direction immediately. Right, so th this actually enhances some of the apps and some of the technology that's already on the car. Yeah, it is. Okay, great. Exactly. Now, I saw spatial sound. What was the other one that was back so, there? So, the other one is uh, sonification. So, we are sonifying data. So, we have a, a live data connection, for example, to the cloud or to the canvas, whatever. This is very new for audio management. Normally, they only handle sound sources, handling sound sources. Right. And, for example, we can hear uh, sonify a distance to anything. You may know that from from the, from the rear. distance control, yes. right? When I'm when I'm parking and something starts In, going, I know I'm getting closer. Indeed, but now it's centralized. But we are using this for for another use case. So we are using this for guidance. So normally you have to observe the distance to the next junction point, right? right? right. So this leads to visual distraction. In our use case, you have. The instruction. In 200 meters, turn right. As you heard, the instruction was spatialized. You have a, a, a right. spatial orientation, and in addition, you will get uh, the distance sonification telling you how far to drive to the next junction point. And this auditory way of guidance leads to very less di visual distraction. Turn right. Oh, right. Okay, so I see it. So you can drive. Uh, with, with your eyes on the road and hear the right. guidance. In because in Los Angeles, when I'm driving, you have to do it really fast. And you're like, wait, I don't even know this area. Yeah, and all yeah. of a sudden, I've got to turn somewhere. And I remember them saying something, but I don't really remember what it was. Exactly. So you keep getting this, and all of a sudden, it's going boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. And you know, OK, exactly. i got to do something right now. And the spatialization also, if you remember, uh, uh, forgot the instruction itself, maybe you can remember the, the direction where it came from. The spatialization gives, gives you a spatial orientation for, right. for guidance, Perfect. right? Perfect. Wouldn't it be great if you're supposed to turn right, it, it comes from the right-hand side. If you're supposed to turn left, it comes from the right, left-hand side. It does. Side. It did. did. I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> you're, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So, and we have another use case. This is uh, auditory blind spot assist. If you use the indicator, uh, is the turn stock switch, could you please turn left, for example? We are able to customize that sound even by runtime. So, oh, I for love example, that you can download a theme for, for your indicator, maybe right. for also for your child, for example. A funny one, and this is, uh, if you press it again, off and on again, it's randomized, it's always other for the child on the back seat, maybe they, they like that. So it right? keeps, it's kind of like a game for the kids, which one's exactly. going to come up now? When you're driving to the vacation, all the, the, the ch child on the back seat are bored and uh, you want to... To, to, to entertain them. them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Perfect. So, and um, if I change now to, to a normal one, more uh, serious one. <laughs> I like and the sound though. I like the, it's like. It's kind of music, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, and now we have here a use case right in front of you. You're driving towards a truck. You're faster than the truck and you want to overtake the truck. Yes. And now you press the indicator. You get a warning overlay te telling you, okay, the lane beside you is occupied. Please wait until the lane gets free. And you will hear that in the auditory way. Right. Just a second. Now the overlay disappears and you know, okay, the lane is free, I can overtake the truck. I can go back to... Exactly. <laughs> All right.